our finances, they weren't good. We ended up in the van for uh, two years. <laughs> we were just all over the place. We had no stability and nowhere to call home. I never thought in a million years that I would be on the street with my baby and putting her to sleep in the backseat of a car. Jose and Michelle looked desperate. They looked like they had no hope in their life. They were searching for something and we offered it. This is what we do at our church. They got connected in helping them fill out paperwork. They got housed. And that's what we tell people when we're out there at, on the street. You're welcome to our family. We'll adopt you, we'll bring you in. And whatever it takes, we'll help you. We're not just saying, here's bread, here's a shower, here's clothes, I'll see you next time. No, we wanna know your phone number. In other words, we wanna help you get from the streets back into the home. We didn't have any money. We didn't have food. They gave us food. They gave us some money. More than anything, they gave us their love and they prayed for us. And that's really what we needed at that time. Everyone has their own talents. Everyone has their own experiences and resources. Some people uh, have, have nonprofits. Other people have skills that can be utilized to help others. Michelle and Joe were able to receive housing with help from their church, as well as a rapid rehousing program. Homelessness is a humanitarian crisis all across the county, and it won't be solved by government alone. That's why we're looking to build partnerships, including with the faith community. Simply use the QR code on screen to take a quick survey. It's the first step to working together to help our homeless neighbors. Michelle and Joe were just one little piece of the puzzle. With the homeless situation, it's always, it's gonna take everybody. It's gonna take what you know, your resources, your funds. It's gonna take the church community, Muslim, Buddhist, whatever you are, it's gonna take the whole tribe.